Hey, boys and girls, it's a graphics card upgrade for your consoles, just like PC gamers. Isn't that exciting? Uh, not, it kinda, not, it's, it's not that exciting. It's okay. Let's get into it. Skip it up and that up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, full disclaimer, I gotta give a huge shout out to Castlemania Games and Mersai Inc. I think I'm saying their company name right, for sending me out BM Classic to review. This video is not a sponsored video. I have to send this video to no one to be previewed first. All of my opinions are my own, so how I feel about this product, trust me, you're gonna know. But anyway, this is the M Classic, and what does it do? Well, Mersai is basically trying to market as a graphics card upgrade. They don't use those exact words, but they're like, hey, you could upgrade the graphics on your PC by, you know, upgrading the graphics card and stuff like that. But consoles, you can't do that because you can't, you know, rip out the graphics processor in there and solder a new one in. And they're saying that this is like a graphics upgrade. So they're indirectly saying this is like a graphics card upgrade for your PS4, your Xbox One, your Switch, so on and so forth. So they're not being misleading, but they kind of are. Because this isn't becoming your GPU. This isn't, you know, rendering the lighting and the textures and everything. It's making the image look cleaner. It does do that. They're not selling you snake oil. It's not a gimmick. But... It's not as mind-blowing as maybe Mersai would want you to think. But anyway, before we get into that, what does the M Classic do? Well, one, it is an upscaler. You put in certain resolutions, you'll get at a higher resolution. I'll have a chart up here. I'm not going to read them all off to you. Um, if you see the chart, you could pause the video and take a look. But beyond this, simply upscaling, the big thing about the M Classic and the thing that I noticed the most, especially with lower resolutions, is man, oh man, it gets rid of jaggies. Um, it also helps with depth of field, and it does all this with less than a millisecond of lag. I noticed zero lag when I was using it and playing my Switch and my Wii U on it, but they say that, it, that the lag it introduces doing all this image processing is negligible, which is good because if you're selling a product for gaming to improve the images of consoles and there's a bunch of lag, it's kind of useless. Now, what the M Classic comes with is the image processing dongle itself. It comes with an HDMI extender, which you're going to need because you, one, not only will this not fit like in the Switch dock if you have a conventional dock and not a modded one like I have, but you're going to want to have access to a Switch that's on here, which we'll talk about in a second. It does need external power via micro USB, so which is a minor nuisance, but it's no big deal. Like the Switch dock has. USB on it, and a lot of televisions have a USB port that you could power this off of. And also, it does come with the necessary micro USB cable that you're going to need right here. So every, you get everything right out of the box with it. Now, the M Classic comes with three different modes, and you're going to see a switch right here, which you could slide to three different places. Um, this, where the light is off, is mode zero, which is pass-through mode. It's doing no image processing whatsoever. Mode one is the standard processing mode for modern consoles or any kind of widescreen image that you want the M Classic to process. This is what you're going to use like on your PS4, your Xbox One, or even PS3, 360, Nintendo Switch, so on and so forth. That's what you're going to want to use. But there's also a third mode, or they call it mode two, called classic mode. So if you're using the M Classic on, say, maybe a GameCube and the game isn't widescreen or a PS2 game or maybe you have a modded HDMI out Dreamcast. If you want to use these on, if you want to use the M Classic on retro consoles, you have to have some kind of HDMI mod with a female HDMI input. Keep that in mind, mind too. And the game you're playing is not widescreen. You're going to want the Switch toggled over to blue so it does the proper image processing and the M Classic doesn't stretch out the image and try to stretch it out to 16 by 9. But anyway, that's it. It's a simple product to set up. But anyway, enough of me talking. I'm going to show you some captured footage that I got from the M Classic and I used the M Classic on a Nintendo Switch and I also used it on a Wii U and I played Wii games on the Wii U. 
and you're going to see footage of both Switch games and Nintendo Wii games being played on the Wii U, and you will see the results for yourself, and you can decide if you think VM Classic is worth it. And after that, I will give you my final verdict and tell you what I think of this product. Let's get into it. Now, here is where I think the M Classic did make a huge difference with visuals, is when I played Wii games via backwards compatibility on the Wii U. I set up the Wii U to run at a native resolution of 480p, because Wii games were not in HD. They were widescreen, but not in HD, so you're gonna wanna set your M Classic to the green light mode, which is the processing mode where it processes everything in widescreen. And it's funny, wait till you see the images of before and after. When you set your Wii U up in 480p and you play Wii games uh, via backwards compatibility and use the M Classic, the difference is night and day. Without the M Classic, when you just go through pass-through mode, which you're gonna see now, you see a bunch of Jaggies. Look at the intro of new Super Mario Brothers Wii. Look at Mario Kart with no image processing from the M Classic and just playing in widescreen 480p. When you turn that switch on and you put the, pro the green light on, the processing mode of the M Classic, all of the Jaggies are gone. And the weirdest thing was, if I set the Wii U to 720p or 1080p, the M Classic didn't work as well. So if you want to play Wii games and you want to get the cleanest picture possible, play Wii games on the Wii U with the M Classic in the green light processing mode and it virtually gets rid of all jaggies. This is the most impressive showing I saw from the M Classic, hands down. So final verdict time, ladies and gentlemen. Do I recommend the M Classic? For the general population who, for the general gaming population, I'm going to say no. Um, if you're just gaming on current gen consoles, even down to the Nintendo Switch, this doesn't offer enough of a benefit to justify the $99 dollar purchase in the states it's 99 bucks or a hundred dollars let's just say even with the wii which packs the weakest hardware punch out of the current gen consoles it's not even as powerful as the base ps4 and xbox one the difference in visuals just wasn't enough i mean there were some games like redeemer which i played the switch version of that where you saw where it did clean up a decent amount of jaggies and it, doom 3 on the switch those are the two examples i think of right away where it did clean up a lot of the pixelated edges and added more aliasing but beyond that, there just wasn't enough there. Like you saw a little bit in Super Mario Odyssey, and it made new Super Mario Brothers U look a little bit cleaner, but would it be enough to justify taking $100 of your hard-earned money? No, it, it doesn't. Now, if you're more into retro gaming, or you like playing a bunch of Wii games, and you own a Wii U, and you utilize backwards compatibility, this I see having more value. Like say you have a GameCube and I'm looking at it right now, the GCHD Mark II, which takes the component signal out of the GameCube and converts it into HDMI. Then taking this, the uh, M Classic, and having it clean up that image, that would be amazing. I mean, look what it did to the two Wii games I played on my Wii U. It was a night and day difference. It was noticeable instantly. You didn't even have to pixel peep. That I could see the M Classic being used. I could see it actually being worthwhile with that, I mean to say. But to try to market this as like a graphics card 
upgrade for current gen consoles, which is kind of what they're indirectly doing, yet they're kind of directly doing it, is a little misleading because this isn't going to benefit your PS4 Pro. This isn't going to benefit your Xbox One X. And it's just going to barely benefit, if not really at all, your Xbox One S or your PS4 Slim. If you're more into retro gaming, like 480p and less, I would say, this has more of a purpose and I could see it, the, the asking price of it being justified. I was I was pretty much blown away with what it did with those Wii games. But everything else I try with it, even on the Switch, just wasn't enough for me. So this does work. The M Classic does work, but I don't think if you're only gaming on current gen consoles that it offers enough of a visual improvement to take $100 of your money. This is Richard Review Tech USA signing out. Have a good one. Thank <music> you.